Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So we are at the end of 2024 and the most obvious question would be what is the future of software engineering in 2025? I know many of you might have such questions. So in this video, I will address three common questions. Number one, is there going to be huge impact of AI in software engineering? Number two, is AI going to take away the jobs? Number three, are there going to be less number of opportunities for freshers or people trying to switch in software engineering? I'll be very honest without any filters in this video. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let's get started. So to be honest, in 2025, I personally believe every company, whether it is a MNC, whether it is startup, will start investing in AI if they haven't done already. That doesn't mean every company will start developing ML models, every company will create LLMs. No, that is only done by top 10% companies. NVIDIA, Meta, Apple, Amazon, or some startups, rest 90% of the companies will start investing in AI to equip their software engineers with the right AI tools. We have already seen that in 2024, where many companies have provided their developers with the license of GitHub Copilot, pieces for developers, or similar coding assistants or AI assistants. And the impact has been very positive. Those companies or the developers in those companies were able to use GitHub Copilot and they were 1.5, 2 or little more productive than what they used to be. Because of this positive impact in 2024, which was seen by some companies, this will be transformed and you will see rapid adoption of AI in 2025 where developers, QE engineers, DevOps engineers, everyone will be equipped with the right AI tools. Because even the QE engineers can use GitHub Copilot, even DevOps engineers can use GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is basically, for example, or reference, there are many such coding assistants. So companies will start investing in AI to equip the software instance with the right AI tools to make them more productive. I'm pretty sure we are going to see this and this is going to happen in 2025. So the impact is very positive and everyone is going to be more productive than what we were in 2024 and it's a positive impact because end of the day it will help organization to build release and monitor their applications faster now you might ask but does this mean ai is going to take away the jobs at least in 2025 i don't think so because it's too early for ai to replace software engineers. It might happen in 2027, 2028, who knows the future. But the maturity of the AI at this point of time cannot replace software engineers. It can be developers, it can be QE engineers, again, it can be DevOps engineers. No software engineer can be replaced by AI. It is only people who are going to use these AI assistants, AI tools, to be more productive. AI is going to make a lot of errors and people cannot directly live into AI. And again, are there going to be less number of opportunities? No. Instead, there are going to be even more number of opportunities because companies are going to invest in AI. Companies are going to invest in building the AI culture. So, Along with the usual positions that you have in organization, 
the investment that is made in the AI adoption creates more number of requirement. Eventually, that might get stable or there will be job reduction maybe in 2028 or anytime in future. But because the AI adoption is going to happen in 2025, 2026, that means there are going to be more number of opportunities along with the usual positions. So you don't have to worry whether you are targeting in a fresher role in 2025 or you are trying to switch your career in 2025. It is a great year. Only thing that you need to focus is start using AI with your regular activities. Start using chat GPT, start using prompt engineering, start using AI assistant and most importantly AI ops. Yes, AI ops is going to play a very, very significant role and people with the skill of AI ops, I think they are going to be a very highly paid engineers and everyone should start learning this skill. Especially DevOps engineers because it is easy for them to adopt AI ops and use AI to reduce the daily operations. I'll make more videos on AI ops. We are also planning to do a playlist on AI ops. So stay tuned for it. And I hope this video clears the air and I hope your most common questions are answered in this video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you think I haven't covered something or if you have any questions in this particular space, put that in the comment section and I will definitely answer your queries. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.